I feel stuck in life. Do you ever catch yourself saying that? Well, you're not alone. Hey, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Um, in today's video, I just want to discuss this concept. You know, um, it's like being stuck in a box, you know, that you can't, that you unconsciously put yourself in and you just can't get out of. It's as if you're just drifting through life and you're not really achieving much. And I get really upset realizing that I don't have enough money sometimes to do the things that I enjoy, like traveling. Um, I lived in Ohio my entire life and I, I've only been to like two states, Indiana and Chicago. It's pretty frustrating to know that you have the ability to do something like learn a new skill, but you don't get results from it. The same results could easily pay for a round trip flight or a trip to stay in a nice, lovely hotel. <laughs> um, but then I had to ask myself, these are, are these things realistic to have in life? You know, um, do they really matter to me right now? Having these things, all these materialistic things, are they really that important right now in my life? Sometimes in life we may have to just accept where we are and, you know, prepare for what we want to have later on and just look forward to having new things. So the question is, do we have to stay trapped in this box? Do we have to keep feeling stuck in life? Or is there a way that we can get out of being trapped in this box and feeling stuck? Um, because ultimately I put myself in this box you know I'm choosing to live like this I'm choosing to be stuck I'm choosing to you know put myself in this box no one else is doing it but me right so I'm really the only one who knows how to get out of that box right I'm only I'm the only one who knows how to get unstuck <laughs> how to get out of that um, so I did some research on this concept of feeling stuck and um, this is what I've come across. These are a list of things that I came across when doing my research. So you can reflect on what areas you feel stuck in. You know, once you know what's holding you back, it becomes more clear and becomes more easier to move forward. Um, you can set clear goals. You know, having clear goals can give you some direction and motivation. I personally write them down and I just stick them on my wall so I can see them every day. And, you know, once you have your goals clear, you can break them down and uh, they won't be too overwhelming for you to achieve if they're smaller. Uh, seeking support. Um, this one's been a challenge for me because not everyone can understand how you feel directly. Uh, so finding like-minded people has been important for me. Um, you know, si si uh, su seek support from people that, you know, align with your interests because not everyone's going to listen, not everyone's going to care about your interest and what you want to do. So find the right support. Uh, you can learn new skills. You know, sometimes feeling stuck is really just a sign of personal growth. Um, so acquiring new skills can help you discover you know more about yourself and other areas you didn't know about so learning new skills I love to learn new skills that that actually helps me uh, feel like I'm doing I'm acquiring something and I'm, I'm moving forward towards it towards something new and I'm growing so learning new skills is always something I love to do um, you know and just just take action you know with whatever is holding you back or whatever you really want to do, just take action because I can say that with uh, the success, you know, success I have, uh, I have uh, acquired. Uh, none of none of that would have ever happened if I didn't at least try or start. So once you start something, you'll feel less guilty since you've already faced a failure. You know, today I took an exam and I failed, but I can feel good because I took that exam. I don't feel as guilty now, right? I could have said, nope, I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, I'm not going to take it. I'm scared, right? I'm scared to do it. 
because I don't want to fail. But I did it, and I failed. <laughs> and now I can see what mistakes I made and how to fix them. Um, be open to changes. Feeling stuck may mean that change is needed in the way you normally do things. I mean, changing can be very uncomfortable, but it can help you grow. Um, we may not be able to control what changes around us, but we can control how we face those changes and how we deal with them. And uh, again, I can relate to this, you know, change is very uncomfortable, but, you know, it's needed. And I find that when I, you know, I, I try new things and I'm open to changes, I do feel like I'm actually growing and I'm getting out of that box and I'm, I no longer feel trapped in that box. Be patient with yourself, you know. Uh, this is this has also been a challenge for me because, you know, it might just be my age, I don't know, but we live in a microwave society, right? And it's very fast-paced. Everything has to be done quick, but sometimes patience is the answer. And, um, yeah, it comes with wisdom. So I guess as we get older, we get more wise, we build more wisdom, and we know that being patient is always the right thing to do <laughs> uh, positive self-talk you know this is you know this is a you know something you probably hear a lot positive self-talk but it's just simply replacing negative words with positive words and just you know speaking positive um, much easier said than done again this is something that's thrown around so much but um, you know each time you catch yourself saying something negative um, you can write it down and then just ask yourself, why do you feel that way? You know, why do you feel this negative feeling, you know, and once you question that, that's when you get the answer and you're able to, you know, reverse that and turn it into something positive. So, uh, I, I find that, you know, yeah, writing how I feel has been helping me writing down all the negative feelings that I've had, you know, on paper. It, it really helps me get those thoughts out. Uh, visualize yourself doing the things you want to do you know uh, again the visualization thing gets thrown around a lot as well and it might sound unrealistic at first but and I, I really never understood visualization but to me visualizing is just simply you know looking at something that you really want and seeing yourself having it uh, so when you see something physically in front of you that image sticks in your mind because your, your brain captures images, right? So when you see something, um, you can picture yourself with that. That's my way of visualizing. <laughs> and, um, you know, staying active, staying active. Exercise is obvious. Um, again, something that goes around a lot as well, exercise, pretty obvious, right? But uh, when I do it, it, it really just does. You know, it gives me that little boost of energy and self-esteem to improve my mood and it just makes me feel better when I'm down. I have an exercise bike. You might see it behind me right now, but I've been riding that bike and I tell you, it really has been helping me <laughs> in those moments. Uh, you know, limit distractions. You know, if you can get in an environment where there's not as many distractions, that's gold if you can do that. <laughs> Uh, I found that when I'm around a lot of people, it's just really hard for me to focus. So if you can get in a place where there's not a lot, where you have some time to yourself to really, you know, process things, that's better. Um, so because, you know, sometimes it's the people that's closest to you who can be very toxic. Um, they end up being the most toxic people. You know, so if you can get away from them, like, that's gold. That's great. Uh, meditation, mindfulness, practicing these things. Again, another term that comes up, mindfulness, is still something I just, you know, it's just kind of thrown out there. Uh, from my understanding, it's basically just the idea of becoming mindful of your surroundings and just letting go of all your thoughts and being present. You know, forgetting about the past, the future. Um, when you when you just learn to let go of things that already happened and things that you can't control, when you just learn to be present, that's how I see mindfulness. Um, so just taking deep breaths, you know, tends to work for me. 
and it just helps relieve uh, stress and tension that I might have, you know, and uh, because sometimes I get lost in my head, and I really do, I need clarity Uh, in those moments when I'm feeling trapped, I feel stuck, you know, I just, I sometimes just have to, um, you know, sit down and just really, you know, think, (laughs) think about the present. Uh, setting a routine, um, routine doesn't work well for me and it's not for everyone, but it can help you, uh, carve out time that's needed. A routine might be simply waking up early or going to sleep early. So if you have more time to get things done, um, or if you need more time to get more things done, then this could work out, but Again, I'm not the routine person, so I guess it just depends on you. Um, If you like routine, then set a routine. But also make sure you have time for yourself. And seeking uh, inspiration. Inspiration can be from books, articles, podcasts. I find reading books um, are helpful. And I, I just like listening to videos. You know, that helps me as well uh, when I'm feeling stuck. Seeking information, seeking inspiration from other people has been inspiring for me when I feel stuck, you know. So, yeah, I would recommend it. And feeling stuck is just a, you know, this is my last point. Um, Feeling stuck is a common part of human experience. It's totally normal. I'm doing a video. Sorry, I'm doing a video. Hold on. Uh, Feeling stuck. Is, is a is a it, it's a it's a it's a common part of of human nature to feel stuck you know and it, it doesn't mean you're failing if you're stuck in this box you know um, this made me feel a lot better because you know there there is a way out of that box out of that out of that trap and you don't have to stay trapped in that box you can get out so if you follow uh, follow the the concepts that I just mentioned in this video, you know, maybe you, it, it can help you, you know. Now, no guarantees, but it's an idea. Anyway, it's okay to take breaks to gain clarity. And um, I hope this helps you feel less stuck in life and, you know, that you can't seem to get anything done. I hope it helps you get more done. And uh, Yeah, because you can. You can get out. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and enjoy the rest of your day.